Hello and welcome to another demo of the JST Designer. In this demo, we will cover the IRA map method. For more in-depth information on how the map method works, please refer to the official documentation at developer.mozilla.org. This method allows an array of elements to be mapped onto an array of elements with a different structure. Let's start by first creating an incoming schema for the input array. Copy a sample of the array data onto the clipboard. On the JST Designer, click the plus button under Incoming Schemas. Paste the data into the right side of the panel and click on Infer Schema from Example JSON. Finally, put in a name for the schema under the ID field and click Save. For this demo, we are going to add a new property in stock with a random boolean value to each array element. This change will affect the schema of our output, so we need to repeat the previous step for inferring the schema, but with a sample of the intended output data. Next, we need to add the array map method. Navigate to the sidebar on the right hand side screen. In the search bar on the methods tab, type map. Drag and drop the array map method onto the canvas. Connect a transition from the incoming array to the map array input, and then connect the output of the map method to the outgoing schema array. In order to build the map logic, click the edit button next to the callback label on the map method. Notice that a new tab opens up which corresponds to our callback function. For this demo, we will add to each array element a new property in stock with a random boolean value. To do this, we will use the setProperty method in conjunction with the random and greater than methods, both of which can be searched and placed onto the canvas. Connect the current value, which represents the current array element, to the set property object input. Now, hard code the property section with the word in stock and connect random output to greater than parameter A. Hard code parameter B to 0 0.5 in order to create a real Boolean generator. Now, connect greater than methods return value into the set property value section. Connect the return value into the callback function's outgoing new value. Now, in order to navigate back to our main JST function, click on the previous tab. Please notice the this arg method input in the map method. This input allows you to bring context from the root level to the callback function level of the JST. This input is optional and for the purposes of this use case is unneeded. To test this JST, click the play button on the left side of the screen, provide sample inputs and click on run. Upon execution, a panel will pop up from the bottom of the screen and will have the results and the logs. Once results are verified, Name the JST and download it by pressing the down arrow button on the left panel. To use the newly created JST inside an Itential Automation workflow, place a transformation task on the workflow canvas. Open the task, click on the up arrow to import the JST, Configure appropriate inputs and click on Run. That concludes our demo for the ArrayMap method. For more information, 
please refer to the iTential dev site at developer.itential.io. Thanks for your attention and have a wonderful day.